Hey y'all, so before we get into this video, I wanted to make a disclaimer. I did not make an outro for this video, so I'm going to do this little um, intro. So don't mind me, I'm holding my phone. But basically, before anybody come for me in the comment section, I do not have makeup on. Even now, I don't have makeup on. I was hot, I was sweaty, my edges wasn't done, my edges still not done, but whatever in this video it was 95 degrees outside and i was busy working and running around trying to get all the supplies to show you guys how i did this video so yeah like just to make it all clear i ran out of ink had to go back to the store back and forth my printer wasn't working so your girl was a little hot and sweaty in this video but it's okay because i showed you guys everything that i used everything that i did so when you start your business you are good to go so i just wanted to just wanted to make that disclaimer real quick and i hope you guys enjoy the video later It's you, Mina, and this video is, of course, Entrepreneur Life Part 2. Today, we are going to be packaging these orders. Girl, I was supposed to record this video two hours ago. It's 5.42. I'm supposed to be done with this already. But that's okay. I'm a new business. I'm starting now. I'm learning some stuff, so it's okay. But the first part of this video is going to be an inventory video of what I have and things that you need if you're starting a new business and you know you're doing stuff you hear stuff in the background it's like fireworks and motorcycles it's really loud today i don't know why so the very first thing you would need to start a business is a laptop a desktop something of that sort i don't have a macbook i have my google chrome uh laptop or whatever works like a charm and I'm gonna use it. Second thing you need is your scale. Especially if you're gonna be shipping from home or um, something like that, you don't feel like going to the post office or waiting online to have a tracking number for all your packages, you need a shipping scale. I wanted the rose gold one, but I couldn't find it. And then after this came, I found the rose gold one. I'm so mad, I love pink. But you need your scale. The scale is really easy to use. It comes with batteries already. It comes with this charger too. And it comes in this box. Let me show you. Come in this bubble mat, this bubble thing. And it comes in this box. Another thing you would definitely need is duh, your bubble mailers. I got it in this big Amazon box. Thumbnail. I got in this big Amazon box. I got black because it goes with the color of my brand. Or one of the colors of my brand. Put this down for sure. Like 50 in here, so it will save me a lot of time. I'm going to buy more. The next thing you need is your shipping labels, of course. Duh. I got these Avery shipping labels. It has um, 50 sheets, so 100 labels. No, 50 labels, but 25 sheets. That's what it looks like. All of this I got on Amazon, by the way. So, yeah. Avery, see? And then the next thing you need is the product you're putting all this stuff in and weighing. Like I said, for right now, I'm just doing lip glosses and stuff, and I have, like, other stuff along the way. Once you need your products, it's about. Next thing you need is whatever your product is going in. I'm using, like, these little bags, these silver bags and stuff. Um, yeah, I... Supposed to have bubble wrap, it's not here yet, but it'll do the job. It's okay. 
And then the next thing you need is your business cards. My business cards I got from Visaprint. I don't think it's gonna like really focus. Look at my business cards from Visaprint. I have 500. Why do I have so much so early? I don't know. To start up a business, you don't need 500. I just got like a good deal on Visaprint. Cause at first I got 250, but you know Visaprint they want you to spend more money, so they added an extra 250 for an extra five dollars. So I definitely won't need be won't be needing business cards anytime soon. Business card right here. She real cute and pretty. Yeah. And then like other stuff you need, but like you could get like a Dollar Tree or just like random stuff. You will need is like sticky notes. Plain Jane little cute little star sticky notes. Tape tape stuff down with for extra security and then also what I have to help me out I brought this from Visa Print also I brought a book for my brand you can see my, my logos in the front I bought this book so I can write down the orders and I can write down like other important stuff um so I'll have to keep looking at my laptop to see what they order and make sure everything is right, like all the information is in here. Um, so yeah, so it helps me out. But you don't have to buy a personalized notebook. You get like a regular, regular, cheap little notebook from like, I don't know, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, doesn't matter. Um, and just, you know, write stuff down. But I wanted to personalize it. And then like I have like you know some markers and stuff so I can write down people's stuff and that's it really so as of right now all I did was I print I'm not going to show everyone's stuff because I have the address on it but I printed everyone's um, receipts and stuff and then I'm going to write it down and personalize it and you know, tell them thank you each person thank you for ordering and stuff like that. So I'm do right now and the next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how I ship the orders out now I use Shopify for everything but to ship out my orders I use another um, thing it's called Shippo of course you have like ShipStation and PayPal PayPal giving me problems I don't mess with PayPal right now and um, ShipStation you gotta pay like a monthly fee I'm not doing that and the reason why I'm not shipping out labels from Shopify is because they charge you a transaction fee and a couple of other fees and stuff. And then if you have the $30 month a month plan, those transaction fees, whatever, will add on to your monthly bill. So it'll be like $80, $90. I don't have time for that. So um, I'm going to just do it another way and then just pay as I go. They charge me right then and there so I don't have to worry about my bill going up for the next month. I will be right back. Okay, change of scenery. I am sitting on my floor and I'm going to do each order. So, I have my handy dandy book with me. See the first person. All these are my friends, by the way. I love y'all. Thank y'all. So, the first order, first order is my good friend Tay. So, let's take one of her bags out of here. I'm gonna put everything in the shipping mailer before I print out the shipping label. So everything is set. Take her little bag out. She ordered one blush me, one icy, and one rose court all in a squeeze. So I'm gonna take it out out of here. These have a look. Focus. This how it looks. It's all gonna go in here. I'll put each of her lip glosses in here. Rose Court and Icy. Here. This is how it looks in the bag. Focus, please. This is how it looks in the bag. And then I'm going to add a business card and has the information in the back. I'm gonna put it in the front. Nice and pretty. 
pretty. Close it up. This is how it looks, you guys. This is how it looks in the bag. And then I'm going to take her bubble mailer. So I already put her sticky note and her order number on it. As you can see, so I know who is this who. I got her name on it. And I'll just put it in here. Oh, yeah, put it in here like this. And then I'm going to take her receipt. I find it. I take her receipt. I'm not going to show anything like her address and stuff. And then I'm going to take a pen or a Sharpie. Take a pen, write her name, say thank you, all that good jazz. I'll use this. I'm going to close up the receipt. I'm gonna write thank you and stuff. I'm gonna write it at the bottom. Right, I'm gonna use a sharpie. It'll look better. I'm gonna show the top part. But I'm gonna leave a note. Hello, Aaron. I wrote my name. Say thank you so much for ordering with us. We hope you love it just as much as we love making it. XOXO. Yumiya, aka Unfloored Nixie. Real cute. Take her receipt. Put it on and she is ready to go. Now I'm not gonna close this yet. Even though I can, I'm not gonna close it yet because I wanna weigh it and see how much it will weigh first. So, but her order is done, ready, it's ready for a shipping label, it's ready to go to the post office and ready to get on that flight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So she's ready to go. So now I'm gonna do the rest of them. We're gonna now take our where is it that quickly? Take our Sharpie go into our book and I'm going to show you. Show you. So these are the names of the people. This is what they ordered and this is the actual container they wanted. So now we're going to go to the first person that we did and we're just going to check it off so we know she's done. And now we're going to go into the next person. I wish I could move back so y'all can see the floor but I'm sorry y'all don't have that much space. <laughs> so we have to raise up some of the next person is Lakia. So the next person is Lakia. She got two rolls, of course, not icy. Thank you. And you got golden squeeze. So we got her order. That's what she got. Got two rolls, of course, and a squeeze. As she should, as she should, and then we're gonna package it, take the bag out. Oh, and these came in a hundred, by the way. So I'm straight. Bag. When it comes to the buying the shipping label part, you really gotta be careful. You don't want to do the wrong thing, especially if you're a new business and you're trying to figure it all out. So that's why I'm going to do the shipping labels last so I can like take my time with it. Because packaging up stuff like this is really easy. So I'm going to let me do it in a little aesthetically pleasing way. I'm going to take a business card. This is so fun. Business card. And they have a little code in the back that you can use. So that's cool. Put it in the front. Her order is done, ready to go. Take her bubble mailer with her name in the front of it. Put it all up in here. Get her receipt and do that little note thing that we did for the first order. It's this one. Kia's little special note is done. Gonna fold it up and put it in her shipping mailer thingy. Also, after you do this and you didn't put out their shipping label yet, still have their stuff on it, but still take it out if you need to to make sure that it's their order, y'all. Don't be out here, you know, messing up people's stuff now. I'm gonna do another one for you. Next order. Cookie is done. I'm gonna do my boo Alex next. She ordered one icy, one blush me, one rose quartz, all in the one. 
Thank you. Bye. So she got. card for her. I'm gonna put it inside. I'm a perfectionist so stuff has to look perfect. And I got the right size of everything so I'm very happy and excited about that child. Oof. This is how it looks. This is how our order looks. And then now we're going to personalize her um, receipt. Got a little note. I'm not going to show her other information. We're going to a little note. We're going to fold it up. I'm not going to close it yet because we need their shipping stuff to make sure everything of that is settled. Okay, so I did three. I have two more to do, and I'm going to do the rest off camera. So this is what the orders look like with everyone's name on it and their order number. Now it's time to weigh their packages so we know how much the labels, the shipping labels is going to cost. Um, my laptop is on crack right now, so we're going to do everything on my phone. Ship less with Shippo. That's what I'm going to press. Well, it's my first time doing this, so we're in this together, okay? We are going to weigh it. Take her thing. I'm going to take her sticking it over for now because that was her. 2.3 ounces so i'm gonna just say three ounces it's always good to round up i'm gonna just say three ounces okay kind of see it says custom dimension somewhere over here this is like length width height and then her package is three ounces so we're gonna pick save shipment date please make sure the shipment date is the day you're shipping it off tomorrow the 6th of um july you have to make sure it's correct I'm gonna do a signature confirmation just cause no, I'm not. Next time when I when I have more stuff on the website, I'm gonna do a signature confirmation only because it'll be more stuff and I wanna make sure my customers get their stuff. Cause I know how these post office people are. So USPS first class package mail parcel. I'm gonna pay for that. Cause she paid for her shipping. I'm gonna purchase one label. Yes, it's been purchased. And so now we're going to download her shipping. We're going to print out her shipping uh, label. For my business, we have the first shipping label printed out. And so I'm not going to show her address. I'm not going to show my address. Um, but the very first one is done. So it's first class and all that is done. So now I'm going to send her her tracking number. We'll automatically send her her tracking number. Now we're going to take her uh, mailer one last time. Take her sticker off. But make sure that it's the right person's stuff. So I take her shipping label. Gonna peel this. No, first you're gonna take this uh, thing. Take it off, and you're gonna flip. I have black in the background, but you're gonna put this down. Make sure it's on here. We're just gonna take her shipping label, peel it off. Peel it off. Gonna slap it down on the flap where the flap is. Is I put it where the flap is, so no one can be like, oh, my stuff got stolen out of my stuff. I don't got time for that. Tape around her thing. But this order for my beautiful friend is traveling, honey. <laughs> this order is traveling, probably on a truck, on a plane somewhere. So I gotta make sure hers is secured. She ready to go. Done. She is ready to go. I'll put it right here. Now we're going to the next person. So we're going to weigh her order. This is her order. Weigh it on the way. Exactly two ounces. But we're going to make sure I'll probably just go up to three ounces. So now it's 3.22. You see? So now I'm just rounding up to three because I don't have time. I'm do it one more time just to make sure. 2.1 ounces. So I'm going to just round it off to three. It's always good to round it off to the next number. It's very important that you ship 
go around, you round up because you don't want them to send the package right back to you and be like, oh, we couldn't ship it out because the postal thing wasn't enough money. You don't want that. And that's why it's important to have a scale at home. Do it, plenty, put it on the scale plenty of times, like I showed y'all, just to make sure that it's what it is. One label has been purchased. So now, now we're going to print out her shipping label. Okay, real quick for my camera die. I printed out everyone's shipping labels. Not for sure nobody's address or my address for that matter. Everyone's shipping labels are printed out. It's ready to go. Everyone got their tracking number. So now we're going to package up these orders. I'm going to take a look at his bubble mail one more time. It's leaving the unflawed New York City factory. Take her thing off. You don't need it no more. But make sure it's Lakia stuff or your customer stuff. Now you're going to take the little thingy, pull it off, pull down the flap. Make sure it's tight and sealed. Take your customers. Shipping label, make sure it's them, it's their name and everything. Slap it on like that. And then you're still going to tape the sides just to make sure that, you know, it doesn't go nowhere. The key out of your order is ready to go. You are ready to go, honey. It's like super duper hot out today. My back is burning because the sun is behind me. But after my camera cut off yesterday, I got one more order. So that's in total six orders, which I am very grateful for. And now I'm gonna go to the post office, drop them off, and that'll be that. So I just left the post office. I just dropped it off. Pray to God that they put it where I need to put it. So I'd be on this truck, just go to these customers and stuff. That was quick and easy. That line was super long, and I'm so glad I don't have to wait on that line. Mm -hmm. so.